Michael Taylor is one of Australia's most significant artists. At 86, Taylor has exhibited regularly since 1963, with 96 works held by the National Gallery of Australia alone, and many more across all state gallery collections, regional, institutional, and uh, numerous private collections. Michael Taylor's latest painting exhibition features 43 collage works. Taylor is not new to collage, but to this new collection comes the hand of a visual master and brings the new element of the found frame. And these were all collected from his hometown of Kuma. As a well-established abstract expressionist painter, there's a really interesting connection with these found frames. Found frames have a connection right back to the Impressionists, who extended their new mode of course to framing and hanging. And by 1877, Pissarro and Degas were showing their work in white rather than gilded frames. In 1879 and 1880, coloured frames appeared in shades which complemented the overall colours of the paintings. Their construction was equally avant-garde and simple, flat architrave profiles or convex cushion mouldings. Unfortunately, few of these original frames actually survived, as paintings were stripped and reset in more extravagant frames over the years. Taylor has seemingly captured this original spirit with his found frames, and in the context of his painting, these found frames are as much a part of the work as the picture plane. They both delineate and carry, and frames in the context of contemporary art are intriguing. True to form, Taylor's painting imagery is well concealed, which rewards repeated viewings, and with the exception of Baron Joey, landmarks are largely absent. Instead, the pictorial plane is brought through as layered, light-filled, and often watery, textural and musical space that pulls on one's imagination. And the five new paintings in this series as you would expect, do well to carry with them the confidence of this true Australian master.